not feeling well? Instead of running over to the medicine cabinet, how about just coming right out here to your herb garden? everybody welcome back to the rock and sea homestead this is marcy coming at you and i have done several uh, different videos or we've done several different videos on herbs and even making some herbal teas but one thing that i have just recently started to get interested in is more of the medicinal or healing uh, influences of these kinds of herbs uh, and we've got a whole bunch of herbs in our garden here and maybe some more to come and that's what this video is going to be about. What kind of uh, things can you use these herbs that are growing right out here in your garden for to help you feel better? So this weekend I had the opportunity to go to a class kind of to teach you a little bit about what the different herbs are that you can blend into teas uh, to help you feel better, sleep better, feel more alert, all those different kinds of things. And uh, it was with um, a, a local vendor here in our area, Aspen Sage Naturals. She taught the class and she, she does a lot of different kinds of things. She does this, but she also does uh, bath bombs and lotions, uh, facial uh, products for clean, cleaning and, and cleansing your skin. She does uh, some beard oils and stuff for guys. She does all sorts of really, really cool stuff. So when um, I was mentioning herbs and herbal tea on a, on a past video and someone who, who knows uh, uh, knows her and her uh, work suggested that maybe might want to try this class so I signed up and went, went to that class and it was really really awesome. It was held out at a local nursery here where we live, Prairie Wind Nursery and you'll see some pictures going over the top of my narration here of that uh, nursery. It's not that far from our house but I had never heard of it, never been there and it was really kind of cool to go and see that nursery and also then to do the class on making herbal teas and what those different kinds of herbal teas can help you uh, can help you with uh, sleeping and feeling better and uh, those kinds of things. So that's what I'm going to show you today, what we've got already in our herb garden that she talked about a little bit in her class and also maybe some things that we might want to add. So a book that I already have in my library is this one, The Homesteader's Herbal Companion. And it's a really, really great resource in figuring out what herbs might be beneficial to you and in what form you might try to use them. But she also goes into uh, what herbs do well being planted with other things that might be in your garden, which ones are beneficial to different vegetables and other things that you might plant in your garden. So I think this is a really pretty great resource. Um, and also one that Sage mentioned and she had um, or Aspen, what is it Aspen? Aspen, sorry. Aspen mentioned in her class that uh, the Herbal Apothecary uh, book. So uh, that, that's one I stuck in my Amazon cart, cart while I was there so I would not forget which one it was. <laughs> I'll try to get that one ordered and uh, sent to the homestead here. But I, I went back after, we, after the class so that I wouldn't forget what she said and tried to jot down the different um, beneficial uh, properties of some of the herbs that we already have in our garden. So I'm gonna go over those right now with you quickly. So starting over here, lavender. This is a lavender plant. Our lavender hasn't produced any uh, flowers yet, but from what Aspen said and what, from what Aspen had, there, yeah, Aspen had there in her class, you can use the leaves. So I'm gonna harvest some of that and dry some of those leaves. But the lavender has a, like a sedative calming effect. It's good for your digestive. It's an antibacterial and a disinfectant. And, and a disinfectant. She used lavender in her teas that were meant to kind of soothe and help you sleep. Um, so I think that's pretty cool. And I was thinking that you only could use the flowers, but she said, no, you can use the leaves. The book that I have here kind of confirms that. So I'm gonna uh, cut some of that and dry that and uh, try to use the leaves in some teas then. Also sage, which we have in an abundance uh, because this sage has become a bush and not just a plant, uh, but sage uh, aids in digestion, reduction of perspiration. Don't we all need that? Uh, and it helps to treat menopause for all you ladies who are in that phase. 
So that sage also really smells good and it's great for uh, culinary. It can have a lot of, it has a, a lot of culinary uses. We've heard that if you bundle, uh, make a bundle of sage and toss it into your like campfire, it helps to kind of keep the bugs away too. I think that's pretty cool. All right, then we've got uh, a pure mint, spearmint for us, or peppermint or chocolate mint, any of the mints. Uh, she said would have about this would have the same kind of uh, properties to them. So we have spearmint and chocolate mint, and she had peppermint at her class. Um, but it's supposed to be a great thing and that uh, for aiding in digestion, which I have found to be true. If your stomach doesn't feel good, uh, or you're feeling full or bloated, that uh, mint helps a lot with that. It helps promote clearer breathing. It's one of those things that makes you feel a little more awake. So she used it in what she called her awakening tea. And it can also be used for a fever reducer among several other things. So that's your mint plants of all kinds. Uh, so we also have over here, that's it for over here. So we need to go, oh, at the, at, at the actual event um, at the nursery, they had this lemon verbena plants. They had them for a really good price. So just when you think you're done planting everything, you find something cool. And I bought two of them because they're really affordable. So now over here to our little herbs that we have hanging on the fence. First of all, lemon balm. She used her lemon balm in the mixture she put together that's supposed to aid in sleeping, making you feel sleepy. Um, that makes sense since one of the properties it says it calms the nervous system, can aid in depression. It also aids in digestion. It's uh, antiviral and, 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 and antibacterial. That's too many words that start with A, sorry. So lemon balm and also smells fantastic. So if you like lemon flavor in your tea, it's a good thing. Um, we did not go over oregano, so I'm going to skip that. And we're going to go over here to th uh, rosemary, excuse me, rosemary. Uh, reduces stress and headaches, aids in digestion, boosts mem memory, and uh, improves circulation. She said lots of great things about rosemary. Um, of course, it's good in cooking, too. We, we use it for that primarily. But, and I've never tried it as a part of a tea, but I think I'll probably give it a try. So that kind of covers the things that we have in our own garden, our own herb garden, uh, that might be good to make herbal teas when you're trying to help um, promote uh, better health, feeling better, maybe sleeping better, those kinds of things. One of the things she had there that I think I would really like to try for next year, so hey Lance, we're trying this for next year, is <laughs> the chamomile. She had the chamomile flowers that she had uh, harvested and dried. Uh, so I think I'm gonna give that a try. She did uh, warn us all that when she grew it the first year, she said she got like two flowers out of the thing. So she'd kind of quit it, wasn't gonna do it again. And this year they all came back. She had a whole bunch of it come back just from the seeds that had dropped. She has tons of it now this year. So she said, if you don't get a lot the first year, stick with it. You'll have everything you need and more the second year. So I think I would like to give chamomile a try. It is a mild sedative, helps with digestive di digestion and anti-inflammatory. She spoke highly of it for putting in a blend that helps you sleep at night. So I think I would like to try that. Uh, something we already have on our property that's growing wild that we didn't really do anything this year and wouldn't have known if Mrs. B hadn't pointed out when, when uh, the Self-Reliant Roadshow was here is echinacea flowers. We have them growing volunteer over on one side of our uh, property and echinacea is supposed to help with upper respiratory, can be a cold remedy, uh, it's a natural antibiotic. So we already have those. Well, this year we'll be a little bit more um, uh, diligent about getting those cut and dried so that we can try using some echinacea. And then finally, elderberry. I think we may be the last people to get on board with this particular thing because it's pretty well known and I think people use it pretty wide, wide, widely. But it's supposed to help treat flu, common cold, supports immune health, it's stimulant. It's overall something that people kind of swear, swear by for good health. Um, and so I think we're going to try and get a few elderberry bushes and try to plant those and see if we can harvest some of that next year. So those are the things that we have kind of looking forward to trying to grow next year. Although I think may, I may go back to the Prairie Wind Nursery because they had some really nice elderberry bushes there for a good price. And we can plant them now, they're perennial. So we can plant them now, cut them back, mulch them, get them ready for the winter. And then they should be ready to, to go uh, next spring. So a couple of other herbs that we have in our garden, but that in the herbal companion that I was reading through, uh, she mentions that our, she only uses them for 
um, culinary use is basil. Although it does have a lot of good health benefits, she doesn't necessarily use that to brew a tea from. She uses that for cooking. And also the different chives, she mentioned she only uses those for culinary use. Again, they have some healthy uh, health benefits to them. She just doesn't make them into teas. Same with oregano and a couple of the other plants that we have out here. Uh, one of the things that we did at the, the class today was uh, Aspen was so kind to let us come and use some of the herbs that she brought with her. And we all made uh, three little re, uh, disposable bags with a variety of different herbs for different, re, uh, different uh, purposes to try out. So I made one that's supposed to help with sleeping, one that's supposed to help with allergies, and one that's supposed to make you feel a little more awake or alert. Uh, and also we got to take the cute little glass cups that she had for us. We got to take those home. So it was a really, really neat class. If you um, are from around these here parts, you might check out um, Aspen Sage Naturals on Facebook. And I think she's also on Instagram. And you can see Liz, she's got quite a few classes coming up. She's got a really cool holiday gift class uh, where you can learn how to make beeswax candles, bath bombs, uh, I think soaps maybe be, may be one of those. So I'm probably gonna sign up and give that one a try because that all sounds very cool too. So that's what we got going on here. I'm very uh, excited again to get out here and harvest these herbs and start putting together some, I've got a bunch of tea, disposable tea bags like these. So I'm excited to kind of get these uh, herbs cut and try some new combinations of herbs that I haven't tried before and, uh, and see how they, how they do with uh, helping with some common uh, health issues or with sleep or feeling alert and awake, all those different things. So I'm eager to give that a try. And as I kind of go on down that path and, and learn a little bit more, I'll share that with all of you out there. So I wanna thank you all so much for coming, coming by and checking out this video. And if you're new here, welcome. Appreciate it uh, if you would uh, click that subscribe button. Is it over here? Okay, it's over here. It says tell me. Subscribe button. If you know people out there that might like this content, it'd be awesome if you would share that with them. We're also on Facebook and Instagram, and so we'll include those links down below. And I think that about sums it all up, don't you think? Yes, I'm getting the thumbs up from my cameraman. So <laughs> from our homestead to yours, have a great evening. God bless, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye.